another frustrating afternoon, really. But before like, I get into my thoughts, I'm going to start off by saying, like, I don't think it was a, quite as bad as people, like, will have you believe. Like, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on it, obviously, but I, last season I come on here and I did these after we'd been beat every week in the Prem. And, like, I, I'll call a spade a spade. If we're bad, we're bad. I, like, I'll say it, but... Today, I just don't think we were as bad as like people have you make out. Are we, are we a bit bored? Yeah, we are. We struggle in the final third. But this perception that like the football like dire. The football isn't dire. Like, like let's have it straight. It's not hoofball and like it's it's not dire football. The issue isn't the football we're playing. It's when we get into the final third. It's what we do with it. It's like we get round the box and we get this like mental block where we just can't do anything, we can't create anything. Like the booing when we're passing backwards towards the end doesn't help because what what are you actually achieving? Like what are you achieving by booing while the game's on? Passing backwards. Sometimes like these are people who probably don't really understand, but if you play a certain way, like they're not gonna break how they play to if it was 90 minutes, I could understand. But today, it was like 80 minutes and you're passing across the back and people are like, boo, like, get it forward. Like, just relax. Like, relax. Let them do what they do. And if, if they get the win, if they're doing it in added time, yeah, by all means, be like, oh, come on, get it forward. But 80 minutes, I just think it's a joke. Like, we're not even as bad as people make out. In two-thirds of the pitch, we're, we are really good. We're like, at the back, we're excellent. Like, you can't question us at the back. And even in midfield, we're not that bad. Like, today, we move the ball through thirds really well from goalkeeper into defence, midfield. And we got the ball into the final third well. Like, you can't question that. I, the football here is not the issue. Like, people say, oh, it's boring. And it is a bit because we're not scoring goals. But it's that bit in the final third. It's that bit of invention. That's what we're lacking. Like, that's all there is to it. And like, I, I still believe it'll come. I still believe Parker's the right man for the job and anyone who wants him out is just... I won't say what I actually think, but that's just stupidity. We've, we've drawn a couple of games. Like, let's not get carried away here. Like, we've drawn a couple of games. Have we played well? No. Of course we haven't. We like, we know we've not been as good as we can be. And it, and it has been boring. Of course it has, because we're not scoring goals. But I also believe like some of our fans have become disillusioned with where we're at. Parker had the rug pulled under him in the summer by Pace and the board because they sold off every good player he had. They say, all right, come on, Scott, we've got all these players. We've got Wilson Adebayo, we've got Sander Burge, we've got Dar O'Shea, we've got Vitinho, we've got, you know, whoever. You know, I, I don't, can't think off the top of my head all these players who went in the summer, but there was about 15 of them. And they said, he's got the job. And we started the season and went, actually, Scott, I'm going to sell him. And I'm going to sell him as well. And him, and him. And, oh, well, we sold Dar O'Shea, 15 million, all right. I'll give you four for Joe Worrell, is that all right? Well, I've sold Wilson Odeber. Oh, we can do Jaden Anthony on loan. Right, OK. We sold Sander Burge. We can have Casper the Ghost, Hannibal. We can have him, four million with a 50% sell-on fee. Is that all right? Well, what's he supposed to say? Like, he's had the rug pulled from under him. Like, it's, it's that simple. What people forget... All the good players we had on the company have gone. Like they're all gone. We're left with the ones who no one wants, other than Estev, who's probably the only real good player we've got left. Collie Osho, hopeless, said it all the time. End products not not to be there. You can't coach it. He's just like a B Tech Adama or he's got pace, that's it. No trickery. Can't beat men. He was never the forty million player. We sold the forty million player for Tottenham to Tottenham for twenty. Odeber was streets ahead of him, absolutely miles ahead of him, not even close. And we're left with Colly Osho now. We wanted 44. Well, he's not even worth 15. Like, he's just not. So, I don't know. So, just going back to company, like, all these players have got, we're left with the dregs of what who no one else wanted. We've brought in average players. Like, we're an average championship team now. Like, that's fact. The players we have are average, it's fact. We're second in the league, just under two points a game, which is the thing to like get you up. Just relax. like Just relax. Is the football amazing in the final third? No, it's not. I, like, I can see that. Everyone can see that. And Parker himself can see that. Like, obviously, is his team selection right? No, it's not. But what's he got to choose from? 
we've got no striker. We've got Jay Rod, who's 62, and he's he's over the hill. And we've got Hutonji, who couldn't trap a bag of cement. But ultimately, one of the two of them is going to have to play because we're wasting our best player up front, square pegging around all, get him in the number 10 and get him creating for other people, bring others into the game instead of wasting him up front. It's ridiculous. Like, that, that is on Parker. But he just doesn't have the tools to, to walk the league like we did on the company. Like, you need to, people need to understand that, yeah, the football's dire, but he's working with what we've got. Like, it, well, the football's not even dire. Like, that's a complete overreaction because it's not. The football's actually all right. It's when we get in the final third that's the issue, not the football. But we will get there. I, I do believe we'll get there. But he does need to help himself a little bit. I, I do acknowledge, like, he needs to help himself. But the board are the biggest issue. They've pulled the rug from under him, sold him a dream. This is what we're left with. An average championship team who's second in the league. So let's just... Just relax a bit. Like we've drawn at home to QPR. Like it's disappointing. We drew away to Hull. Disappointing, but we're second in the league. Like just relax. It's a long way to go in this season yet. Yeah. Once we get, if we can get to January in the mix and we can get a striker and we can ship Tresor out, got a bit of money to play with. Things might be different, but like booing him off at full time is not re- not the answer. It's it's just not like for me anyway. I I disagree with that. Booing at eighty minutes, I disagree when we're passing backwards, but. It is what it is, and we're second in the league. Don't get too low with these lows, because like we we will come back, and I I do trust Parker.